When I was lucky enough to visit a remote village in Vanuatu, I got the chance to pass on some skills that I hoped would help a local family to preserve some of the abundance of fish that they were catching. Every morning we would go fishing and catch fish, but by the evening there was nothing left. Like Messines Farm, this village has no electricity or refrigeration to keep food cold. So while I was there, I thought I'd take the opportunity to pass on some of my skills and knowledge in canning food. Passing on skills in preserving food means this community is now able to make their produce last longer and hopefully there's some inspiration there to get them to experiment with other types of food. Here's a brief outline of the process that we followed. After catching our tuna, we boiled it in brine over an open fire. When it was cooked, we packed the meat into preserving mason jars, added spring water, salt, some chilies and some oil. We sealed the lids and pressure canned the jars following the instructions from the canner. If this is something that you might like to try at home, jump onto our website and check out the full set of instructions there. I'm really passionate about our environment and how different communities occupy it. We're always looking for opportunities to work with other people and exchange skills. On that, I would like to extend a huge thank you to Eddie and his team from Marine, RV and Electronics, and also Stewie and Doug from Doug Burke's Tackle World for their support in getting this project off the ground. We couldn't have done it without you. If you would like to support our capacity building work in Vanuatu or our regenerative agriculture at Messines Farm in Australia, contact us to see how you can be involved.